so <clears throat> hello everyone today we would be <coughs> talking about our poster presentation the poster we have made you have you can see it on the screen and uh, my friend uh, dalian and uh, sultan and owner would be uh, helping me to uh, present this poster today and uh, in uh, the poster is uh, our research paper is uh, our senior project uh, research paper is about five star hotel establishments in Ankara and Antalya. Uh, and we did a comparative study about the digital marketing. And uh, we have compared uh, the five star chains in Ankara and Antalya. So this actually this research paper is aimed to compare the digital marketing uh, strategies employed in the various hotels of Ankara and Antalya and two very distinguished uh, travel destinations. The degree of uh, the marketing strategies effectiveness are also discussed at the length and based on the qualitative service questionnaire distributed among three hotels from uh, either city, an attempt is made to highlight how the different destinations can affect the hotel's marketing efforts. So what is actually the main, uh, you know, the main aim of our study? So the main aim of our study is how to understand the different marketing segments of Antali and Ankara. As Ankara targets the market related to association meetings, corporate meetings, business meetings, and even at its, its capital, it also deals with, you know, the diplomats, the embassies. So that's a different market, market they are having from a different countries because a lot of countries have their embassies in Ankara. And uh, <clears throat> therefore, Antalya is a totally different uh, sector of tourism. Uh, it relates to, you know, the leisure tourism, uh, mostly because uh, where it's located, it's a beach destination. So it targets the, you know, if you see from the tourist perception, it targets the people who want to have a, you know, a kind of a, uh, like a leisure, le uh, leisure tourism and, you know, just uh, have fun and you know stay on beaches and you know have some drinks and you know it's a kind of vacation destination in comparison of Ankara and then also this destination is about the service quality too so we have to maintain the service quality like transportation accommodation to the top health and hygiene because it's a destination there are beaches so we need to be you know even uh, give the give a good security to them and even we need shopping complex informations and these kind of things and identify the service quality of Antalya. And uh, further, Sultan will help us uh, discussing about uh, the, you know, about the marketing and about the strategies of it, how it helps the hotels. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, we will examine the how marketing helps uh, hotel and the strategies. Uh, first of all, we have to know the uh, what is the marketing uh, and the uh, digital marketing. And the marketing is the uh, process of uh, planning and executing the conception, uh, pricing, promotion, uh, and distribution of ideas, goods, and services uh, to create enhances uh, to satisfy individual and uh, organizational objectives. Uh, if we open a little more, uh, responding in time to changing customer expectation um, and being the chosen one by showing different aspects than the competition um, are the most important success criteria in future planning for the hotel management, of course. Uh, with these aspects, um, marketing strategies at the services that the hotel management provide are vital. Uh, it is because uh, the hotel businesses aim to increase sales and increase profit through marketing related studies. Uh, modern way of uh, achieving the goals within the marketing understanding is to protect the uh, profitability by providing the highest level of customer satisfaction by uh, determining the needs of the existing and potential customers and ensuring customer dependency. Of course, now uh, hotels do that by using Twitter Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, and a variety of other social media channels are uh, modern substitutes. Uh, of course, not only these, also partnerships, collaborations, uh, associations, uh, and businesses arrangements amongst hotel travel agencies, tour operators, insurance companies, 
uh, air freight companies, transportation agencies, and subsidiary businesses in the sector allows for the um, industry to be run integratively, securing substantial and steady streams of um, revenue inflow into the entire supply chain. Uh, in this project, we examined uh, five marketing strategies, but um, I don't want to uh, talk the detail because um, we will talk much more things. Uh, influencer marketing, first of all, the second relationship marketing, uh, viral marketing, green marketing. Um, yes, for, yeah, for one. Uh, of, additionally, uh, rise in the use of internet and with around uh, 1.3 uh, billion smartphones on the uh, planet, mobility is of essence. Uh, over 90% of the data uh, is produced in the uh, last two years and over uh, 26 billion smart devices are in active use of public. Uh, to summarize, uh, the importance of digital marketing in tourism sector is that uh, advertisers, in other words, uh, hotels that update their marketing methods digitally can only promote their uh, campaigns and activities in different digital channels okay, whose members um, are expressed in millions to advertise their various campaigns and events in the fastest way. How many people reach the um, advertisement and avoid them. The fact that um, in concerns the product uh, or service being introduced can be measured and above all, it causes an increase uh, in uh, reservations, of course. Uh, and now uh, our friends uh, is honored. We'll talk about more detail. Eh? Yes, uh, I want to talk about the uh, difference between uh, traditional and uh, digital marketing. It's our uh, topic. So uh, we are thinking that the main difference between them uh, is their tool that uh, they are using. Uh, for example, uh, traditional marketing uh, uses uh, magazine or uh, magazine and newspapers or televisions uh, on the contrast uh, digital marketing uses digital media social media uh, or websites and the traditional marketing still plays an important role uh, because uh, they are growing uh, need to step out of the digital work yeah and so they are also um, getting this digital world uh, so digital marketing uses every touch uh, point of your daily use of internet to reach you uh, using the internet for several uh, hours each day uh, is a normal part of most people's day-to-day -day life uh, and so digital marketing just uses uh, this to its advantage because uh, they are perceiving people uh, into every digital channel they are using them and uh, I want to talk about the pro and cons uh, of the digital marketing and traditional marketing i want to uh, start with the traditional marketing uh, pros and it's um, effective and easy to understand firstly they are uh, easy, easy to digest and often enter entertaining so uh, and the another one is pre printed marketing materials are more permanent uh, like newspaper or magazine and they are uh, we are thinking that they are more uh, memorable because uh, seeing something in real life rather than your uh, on your phone is more like to be remembered and there are some cons uh, for traditional marketing uh, they are uh, for example 
the more difficult to measure uh, their companies. So uh, you can you cannot know their uh, all of the details, and uh, they are usually uh, more expensive ones. Traditional marketings, and uh, there is no direct uh, interaction with the customer. Uh, yeah, so you cannot answer. Uh, you cannot. Uh, um, uh, quest the uh, product or service. So digital marketing pros, they are um, through channels such as so social media. You can physically physically see your target market, uh, their uh, things, and uh, your brand and marketing efforts. And it's I think it's more easy to measure uh, their uh, campaigns. Uh, you can see details easily, um, and it it makes cl clever targeting be uh, possible because you can target with people uh, with their other search. You can they are uh, seeing that I don't know uh, how they are doing, but. And the, there are some cons also uh, for the digital marketing. They can be seem like uh, they are annoying people uh, because uh, people can encounter them with any time and uh, it can be bored for some people, also for us maybe. Uh, it's considered as less permanent, I think. And uh, the other one, maybe uh, there is uh, there is a, a lot to learn it because there is no uh, there is an evolving sector, but constantly. So uh, they are uh, they should. Uh, the marketers they should evolve themselves more because it's a constant uh, sort uh, market style I think and uh, finally I think both of them uh, both of both types of marketing uh, strategies have their benefits and cons like I told you uh, but the key is understanding your specific marketing needs, I think, uh, market target needs, and considering your budget and uh, understanding your target market. And uh, traditional marketing challenge, uh, channels uh, are uh, often more expected and welcomed by the people uh, who own televisions and prefer to buy newspapers, as I said uh, before. But uh, on the contrast, the uh, digital marketing is surprisingly uh, giving you the chance to uh, uh, encounter uh, all of type, all of uh, all type of ads uh, who spend hours on Facebook or Twitter, maybe Instagram. So it's more um, easy to reach people, I think. And both, both types uh, can work for you uh, as long as you know what your target market wants, I think. Uh, it's my, it's our uh, think of the uh, comparison between the two of them. And uh, I will let you, uh, Dalian, uh, speak. Thank you. Um, before I conclude, I believe, Mamohan, you have some things to say yeah. about chats. I would like to add something in the presentation about the graphs. Oh, sorry. Uh, so about graphs. If you see the first figure, uh, you know, the first figure itself indicates, uh, you know, a decline in this decade. And, uh, you know, you can see except 2011, uh, 2012, which saw an apparent increase in marketing budgets that 11 point uh, 11 point percent 11 percent in 2019 and budgeting at 9.8 percent is the highest that firms collectively witnessed over the last decade 
and 10% in 2011, 7.8% in 2013, and 8.3% in 2014, and 6.6% in 2015, and 7.5% in 2016, and 69 in 2017 and 7.3 in 2018. So for B2C business, which includes uh, hotels, the marketing budget has surged to up to 15.6%. And the figure too also shows that, uh, uh, you know, compares how marketing preferences have shifted towards the digital market over the last few years. And further, uh, we will explain, uh, you know, the comparison here, if you see, that uh, you know 94 percent of people uh, are doing still doing their marketing uh, on facebook then uh, there are some uh, you know uh, around 64 percent people doing on instagram some uh, youtube on 40 percent and goes on twitter snapchat pinterest and you know all of these and you see that uh, you know in figure uh, four that uh, you can see that for the year of 2019 to 2020 b2c services by comparison to any other business type spends most of their money on digital marketing that's 18.2 percent and b2c product spends the second most 17.9 percent followed by b2b product 15 uh, 15.1 percent in comparatively in traditional marketing expenditures compared to b2b products are minus 1.0 uh, percent and uh, minus 2.0 percent and b2c product is minus 2.9 percent so traditional marketing it's still relevant when it comes to the marketing to the end of the consumer and you know it indicates that digital marketing is the utmost importance in b2c service types which includes hotel however hotels are include uh, in B2C, B2B uh, service types, whereby a hotel sells its accommodation and other packages to tour operators and the travel agents. And we, uh, we have shown the retail, retail consumer services require the most digital marketing expenditure to, uh, you know, to remain uh, very competitive in the digital uh, world right nowadays. And uh, I think in the last figure, that's the figure six, you know that shows the consumer service which include including hotel operators spend the most of the digital marketing uh, or among all the other industries at 18.9 percent it is 6.9 percent more than a runner-up education that is 12.0 percent and consumer services and education are followed by other industries such as tech software and biotech that have 9.7 percent and banking finance insurance they uh, use 9.2 percent of their uh, <clears throat> spendings and consumer package goods nine point and further on health is nine point and con uh, con communication media and we go on like this and uh, you know this indicates that marketing is a source for the maximum revenue in the consumer ser uh, consumer services because consumer services are directly dependent on uh, consumer perceptions about advertised brand hotel sales require uh, you know interact human interaction and touch to seal the deal and for the lack of material uh, and the products and marketing is how a consumer can perceive the quality of a final service so to increase increase the con uh, the conversion rate and to actualize the potential guests and educate the marketing techniques which then rely on cor corresponding the marketing budgets are uh, prominent and you know uh, this helps us at the end of the day to you know uh, sales to keep up on our sales and complement the marketing with our sales by efforts by ensuring that marketing efforts uh, are you know are successfully realized so and further now my friend uh, dalian would conclude our uh, poster presentation yes thank you Manohan. Sure. So at the end, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, we made a survey for um, six different hotels, which are um, seaside resort hotels and conventional city hotels. And according to our result and our research, uh, hotels and also other businesses can evaluate their process and make necessary steps and at the end of um, this project and uh, see the importance of the um, digital marketing strategies. 
um, in the project we mentioned about um, flexibility, um, fluidity or effectiveness of the digital marketing and discussed in review of literature. <clears throat> and shows that effective digital marketing strategies um, are the key way to reach success in the technology age. Investing money on digital marketing, um, like such as paid search, as we mentioned before, before display advertising, social media advertising, online video advertising, like on YouTube or email marketing include a series view of companies advertising budgets uh, which is around 46 percent of the total marketing budget of the big firms uh, firms um, so it's taken by digital marketing marketing investment in the service sector uh, which is almost half of the marketing budget so it's really big amount um, hotels in Turkey should employ varying digital marketing strategies to reflect their business model and uh, they should use the best practices globally to improve their branding, uh, receive a, a good return in investment and also quickly. And basically in our project, we mentioned the importance of the different marketing strategies and uh, especially digital marketing to expand and increase their reputation and reach the success. <laughs> so this is the end of our senior project presentation. Thank you for listening. That's it.